जयेश माता जी ऑनलाइन उपस्थित सभी सहयोगी भाई बहनों का आज के ध्यान सत्र में हार्दिक स्वागत है कलेक्टिव बंधन
चित्त सहस्त्रार पे प्रार्थना करते हैं परम पुजिश माता जी कृपा कर हमारे आत्म साक्षात्कार को दृढ़ कीजिए हमें पूर्ण संतुलन प्रदान कीजिए कुशन इसी ध्यान की अवस्था में बैठते हैं माता जी की अमृत वाणी को ग्रहण करते हैं टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू वर्शिप श्री गणेश एज यू नो इन द होल ऑफ यूरोप अमेरिका इंग्लैंड दे हैव लॉस्ट फेथ इन श्री गणेश not to take care <coughs> for his powers and for his blessings as a result all his blessings are not on these countries the first blessing of sri ganesha which is i think is the highest is the wisdom <clears throat> that we learn what is good for us and what is bad for us what is constructive and what is destructive 
what should we do to achieve our Self-realization. Those people <coughs> who have got wisdom are very lucky people. But wisdom comes from <coughs> no source but your own understanding of life. When a person starts thinking, why am I doing such and such thing? What is the effect of my doing? What is the result of my behavior? Is it good for me or bad for me? Then wisdom comes here. Even if some people know that this is bad for them, still they do not have power to control themselves. Still they do lots of bad things which they should not do. The reason is the power of wisdom is not there. A person is wise who does not only know what is right and wrong, but also <coughs> he knows very well his own power not to do something wrong. He just does not do it. Wisdom is a complete power within ourselves by which we try nothing, it just spontaneously works through us and we do things which are proper and right. In this wisdom many people have risen very high in life. For example, we'll take the example of Kabir. Kabir <coughs> was born to a weaver. They say, they don't think he was born to him, but he was found by a weaver, whatever it is. And he belonged to Muslim family. But he realized that the Muslims as they are practicing their Islam is not going to give him what he wants. He has to seek his Self, he has to know himself. So what did he do is to go on the bank of river Ganges in Benares and he stayed there waiting for a great realized soul called as Ramanan, Swami Ramanan. When this Swami Ramanan came back after his bath, immediately caught hold of his feet. After bath, if somebody catches the feet of any uh, Brahmin, he would shout at him. But he was a saint, he was not a Brahmin. He said, My son, what do you want? He said, Sir, give me initiation. I want Self realization. And Swami Ramanan immediately agreed. All the other people said, Sir, he is a Muslim, he is an orphan, brought up in a Muslim family. How can he give realization? He will not accept any of the principles which look like coming from Hindu religion. Ramanan looked at Kabir, he could see a great seeker there. He said, you don't know him, I know him. And he took him <coughs> with him and Kabira became a great saint after that. He's accepted by Hindus and Muslims because he had that power of wisdom. He went to a man who was not belonging to his religion, who may not have accepted him, who might have just thrown him in the river, also possibly. But he knew also through his wisdom that this man is the one who will love me because I am a seeker of truth. So this power of truth works 
not only that you know what is right and wrong, again I say, but that you just don't do something that is wrong. Now one may say, Mother, what is the source again of this wisdom? The source is Sri Ganesha. The source is Sri Ganesha, which is the giver of wisdom. Once Sri Ganesha is insulted and he disappears behind the clouds of ignorance, then people start doing things which are unwise. This happens with many things. Supposing these days in the democratic countries they are not supposed to say anything about the morality about how people should behave, what should be their relationships. They don't try to look after the society because they think looking after the society is not our job, it's a private affair, it's a private thing. As a result, people take freedom into their hands and start insulting Sri Ganesh. When Sri Ganesha is insulted, complete blockage takes place in a human being, I think. He becomes an idiot, he becomes a stupid fellow, he doesn't understand how to go further with wisdom. Without wisdom, whatever steps one takes is destructive. So this is the first quality of Sri Ganesh, that He gives us, bestows upon us wisdom. So we have to respect Sri Ganesha within us. It's very important, especially for all these democratic countries which are now going to dogs, their families are destroyed because their lifestyle is so horrible, their children are ruined. In every way they are in a big geoparty. This wisdom can be easily brought back if we awaken their Kundalini. If the Kundalini is awakened, this Ganesha can be awakened, because without His help Kundalini cannot be awakened. And if Sri Ganesha knows that Kundalini is to be awakened, He forgives everything forgets everything and comes to assist you to support the Kundalini's ascent. At every chakra He is there to support you. Till you get Realization, He is there to help you. In all these countries <coughs> the missing point is their wisdom and that's why you find so much of destruction, so much of nonsense going on and you can't understand why people are so stupid. The another power that Ganesha has is He generates innocence within us. We respect our innocence, we respect our chastity, we respect a lifestyle which is decent and decorous. In every scripture is written that we should dress up in a way that we are decent and decorous and that our body should not in any way express a indecent uh, feeling or indecent behavior on our part. This is the reason why in Sahaja Yoga we have to be particular about how we dress. I think Sahaja Yogis have realized it, that our dress should be decent, should be dignified and that we should in no way try to show our vulgarity. Because if innocence is the most important thing a human being should have, if that is the complete decoration of a human being, then one should look after 
one's own chastity and one's own morality. In some countries, of course, they think that chastity is only meant for women and not for men. But it's not true. That's what the Islamic people believe. It's very wrong. It is meant for both of them. Like uh, a person who is uh, trying to force the other side, like the men trying to force the women to be chaste, and themselves are not chaste, the women will not be chaste. They may look, appear, they may try to be out of fear, but if they get a chance, they will take to life, which is wrong, because they see the other party, the men, trying to dominate them, then they think, what's wrong? If they can do it, why not we do it? So the whole society has to take to very decent life and to a very, very uh, decorous, dignified lifestyle. It's not only in dress, but even day-to-day -day life it is important. Otherwise, a kind of a insecurity start working among men and women and too much complications, too much complicated life starts. The third quality which I am saying today is that a person who is innocent should not fear because God looks after innocent people. They are always protected. If anybody tries to harm the innocent, God protects them. And that's how you have seen many children who fall from uh, high stories, they are saved, and uh, so many things happen. But also we see many children are being killed by people who are extremely aggressive. Of course, that is very, very cruel and wrong to do, to kill the innocent children, but when these children are killed, actually nobody is killed, as you know very well, the whole world gets shaken up. Anything happens to children, the whole world gets shaken up. And then the whole world starts protecting the innocent. If some people, men are killed or something happens to them, nobody is so much bothered. But even one child is in difficulty, all the people combine together to save that child. It's so important. It's not the child, but the innocence of the child that generates that feeling that we have to save. That innocent little thing which is having a problem. That's why in the whole history you find, wherever there have been description of children being killed or where innocence has been attacked, the whole society, historically also, has revolted against it. And this revolt comes from Sri Ganesha's power that he can definitely create a feeling of detest for people who try to be unkind to children. If you see in the newspaper also, they will show how the children are suffering. What is the problem of the children? What they suffered? It's a very, very uh, touching thing to hurt the children. In Sahaja Yoga we have now children who are born realized, and we understand their innocence. We try to keep them out of bounds from all these horrible things that are happening today in the world. And we are trying to look after them so that they grow up into children who are not only born realized, but who will save others from the dilemma of getting themselves ruined and by not respecting their innocence. This respect of innocence, once is developed through such happenings, through their own children, through their own relationships, then the whole nation can be saved. 
Another way is to worship Sri Ganesha, which comes from the Mother Earth, the principle of innocence. The Mother Earth is so innocent, see. Whether you are good or bad, she gives you fruits, she gives you trees, she looks after you. Whether uh, you are uh, telling lies or you are deceiving people, still she does it. Of course, up to a point. And after that, she may bring forth some sort of a calamity like an earthquake or something like that. Now, the earthquake mostly is suspected always in the Los Angeles area, very much. And they, after practically every year there is a shake up there. The reason is the media of cinema is in Los Angeles. And they are generating all these funny ideas about insulting the Sri Ganesha within us. This is the reason why all the time there is a complete danger for these people who are living in that area, who support that. Also America seems to be quite in danger as far as the nature is concerned. The reason is, from America all these ideas ooze out and people accept them blindfolded. I don't know why they accept these ideas. These ideas have come to us, say, we can say Freud has brought it. Now Freud could not prosper in Germany. He was here, he was in Austria. He could not prosper here, people didn't listen to him. But when he went to America, he got all the support and with that support, he prospered. He got that uh, support because he opposed uh, completely the idea of leading a chaste life. And he said, this is all absurd, this is all nonsensical and one should not listen to all these things. And he started the whole theory on a very, very demeaning principles. And people accept it. Then same Germans, same Austrians, same Europeans accepted Freud blindfolded. Because somehow when it comes from America it becomes collective. Because as you know America is the country of Sri Krishna who is for the people who is for collective. And that's how whatever comes from America becomes collective. And if it is poison, it spreads very fast and it really paralyzes the whole world. So now we have to be wise to see what is destroying us and what is destroying our inner being. For Sahaja Yogis it is very important because if, say, there's a cloth or a sari which is blown off by the wind, even if you can hold it on one corner, you can hold it and after some time the whole thing can subside. And this is what has to happen actually to the world when Sahaja Yogis will hold the sari we can call or this universe with their wisdom and firm faith in Sahaja Yoga. Otherwise they can be blown off also. If they are not rightly placed, if they are not grounded, if they are not fixed to their own enlightened faith of Sahaja Yoga, they can be blown off with this wind which is there to torture the whole world, to destroy the whole world. So the responsibility of Sahaja Yogis is very important that their Ganesh principle should be all right. If it is not all right, then the whole of Sahaja Yoga movement can collapse for ladies and for men. I have to make a humble request that they should try 
to put there Sri Ganesh in a very respectable position in their lifestyle. That should be the highest, the most important and also every day to be remembered that we are very much blessed by Sri Ganesh to get our Self-realization. There are so many qualities of Sri Ganesha which I have described. One of them is that He is a child, and He is very humble, He is very playful, He is very interesting <coughs> and He is extremely humble and despite His weight, He is very lightweight because He can sit on a small little mouse. He doesn't try to show off, He doesn't have uh, His vahanas as great as Vishnu's or anything. His vahana is very simple, the simplest uh, or we can say the smallest creature which can really crawl is a mouse. And He uses this mouse. With this mouse He expresses His own power that He doesn't need any other vehicle. His, his vehicle is His simplicity, He moves, He penetrates and He affects the lives of people through very, very simple, sweet methods. In Sahaja Yoga we have to realize how do we impress others. For example, nobody will be impressed in Sahaja Yoga if you have a very uh, great car or anything or if you have uh, very uh, wealthy uh, expression of your life. Nobody feels impressed, I've seen that. What impresses people is the simple uh, expression of your love through certain gestures, through certain presence, through certain behaviors. <clears throat> and I have seen people who are very sweet, who just express themselves in such an innocent, simple, childlike manner that goes into the heart of the people. And when they describe to me sometimes the Sajogis, other Sajogis, it is very surprising how they express their uh, uh, appreciation of other Sajogis. It's very, very sweet and extremely uh, loving, delicate. All that is like a child how a child plays around and how he amuses you, how the child tries to do... to do things for you. Uh, like I know uh, my grandchildren, uh, they would be sitting outside when I was having my bath. They were all born realized. So when I came out, what I find, they are sitting there with the powder to be put on my feet, with the scent to be put on my hands, <laughs> all such things, they would be there. And I, I, I never told them, nobody told them, but they would be sitting there. If I am uh, uh, lying down, then they would come and cover me up. And all the time trying to see how they can look after me, like as if they are my parents or <laughs> they are bigger than me, and also to uh, guide me in a way, for example, if I'm walking. Then if there's a stone or something, then they would put their hands, Nana, no, no, you don't come, it's just a stone here, you be careful, go that way. As if I have no eyes to see, they are the ones who are my eyes who are telling me to do it. So sweet in their... I've seen in their childhood how careful they were and they knew uh, what I like, what I don't like, so sweet and so uh, assuring uh, that they were all the time trying just to understand me. That is what is the other quality of Sri Ganesha is that He always tries to please His Mother. He doesn't want to do anything that will make her unhappy. He doesn't say no to. Is with some Sahaja Yogis 
have a bad habit, if I tell them, say, no, not that. You see, it's not to be done. The respect of the mother one has to learn from Sri Ganesha. In that I find people are a little over uh, smart. See, if I say something, immediately they'll correct me. No, not that. This smartness is uh, not very uh, helpful, I think, because if I say something, uh, if I may say also that today, just now it is uh, morning time, supposing I say. Now you will immediately come, no, 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 it's not morning time, can't you see this is uh, evening time. So what have you achieved? I know it is evening time. <laughs> but why did I say it is morning time? Just to see. You don't achieve anything by that. By saying, no, not that, this was not so, this is so, this is smartness. But with this smartness you outsmart yourself. So what did you achieve it? You see, what you have to show See, what did you achieve by doing these comments or saying like this or talking like this, what did you achieve? Nothing. But you are tested all the time and in that testing you find out what's wrong with you. It's very important for people who are more close to Me to understand that if I say something, do not take it very literally. You see, because I am Mahamaya also, if I say something, it may be just to test you. Then you go and say, no, not this, not that. It's the mind which is just absorbing, even the testing, staking the testing. Then only you will know that you are being tested and that your testing is just to see how far deeply you understand Me. But there are also some other people who misinterpret Me. I have seen it is very wrong to do that, but it comes because they are not wise enough. They misinterpret. They want to say, this mother said, that mother said, this is not good, that is not... They try to show off themselves by saying that we have understood mother very well. It's not easy to understand Me, I must tell you very frankly. You cannot understand Me very well, only thing, try to understand yourself. I am like a mirror for you. So when you look into the mirror, what do you say? You cannot understand mirror, but you can understand yourself. So whenever you look into the mirror, you try to understand yourself. You don't look into the mirror to understand the mirror. Once you try to understand the mirror, the mirror will be broken and finished, and your image will be also finished. So this is a very simple thing but quite subtle and that's what is the quality of Sri Ganesha, that He knows what His mother will like, each and everything, and He does everything that is good for Him because He's by that He is pleasing His mother. His complete dedication is to the mother is not to any f other thing, not to any other deities. He fought with all of them. He is not bothered about who others are. He goes to all of them through the understanding of the Mother and respects them through the understanding of the Mother. But some people I've seen uh, still cannot do that. They still stick on to uh, some sort of a deity they have been worshipping, some sort of an ideology they have been having then they are not fully in connection with Me. And that is what is that He is just in connection with His Mother. 
to him she is everything she is the source of knowledge she is the source of joy she is the source of truth he doesn't have to look to anybody else now it looks very uh, egoistical uh, to say these things in modern times a woman saying like that uh, that you all uh, behave in that manner but you can understand that if you have to gain anything if you have to achieve any knowledge within if you have to ascend higher then you have to learn from shri ganesha what he does and what is his relationship with his mother which is purifying nourishing and result oriented that the result is that you ascend gradually as i was telling yesterday to some people that i have not uh, said everything from the very beginning all the subtle things gradually you have grown and accordingly i have talked if you were like shri ganesh all of you from the very beginning i would have told you everything but shri ganesh doesn't require even to know anything he already knows he is a very mature person or we can say the most mature deity is shri ganesh now what you have done is that with wisdom you have grown and gradually i have told you of many things but i didn't talk of many things like the genesis like the beginning of our life how we came i have said it in a way in a very very uh, gross way but all in subtleties i have not said much because i don't want you to get to any uh, discussion or to any point which cannot be verified by your vibrations whatever you can verify by your vibrations becomes your knowledge that is what gradually is told to you you should not interfere or you should not indulge into those books and things which talk of the origin of the or then the origin of this and that you should not get into this thing because your mind will be diverted you will take to knowledge which may not be knowledge and then you will start thinking oh i don't know this part i don't know that part what you have to know is very simple is what are you you are the spirit and the light of the spirit will tell you everything gradually as much as you can bear it it will not tell you something that you cannot bear it's a very uh, good analogy when we say that you are the light but the light which you are carrying is very different from this ordinary light this light is uh, doesn't understand that doesn't think now the light which you are carrying is the light which understands things and it gives you that much of light whatever you can bear it won't flash if it will flash you will be shocked it won't dim down it will be absolutely in relation to what you can understand sometimes the deities emit too much of vibrations in pujas i have seen it. but if you cannot bear it they don't enter into you they trouble me but they won't enter into you so one must understand that what is important is not what you know about this and know about that and know about that is not so important what is important is what stage you have reached at what maturity you are in such form now there are so many qualities of shri ganesha as i told you which i i think there's no time today to talk about it but gradually i've been talking about all his qualities and all of them can be expressed and manifested in your being if you are really respecting him absolutely that's the only way one can manifest his qualities may god bless you nishabd dhyan mein bane rehte hain
दोनों हाथों को जोड़कर श्री माता जी के श्री चरणों में प्रार्थना अर्पित करते हैं परम पूज्य श्री माता जी आज का यह सामूहिक ध्यान हम आपके श्री चरणों में समर्पित करते हैं श्री माता जी आज की अमृतवाणी में आपने जो हमें ज्ञान प्रदान किया है कृपा कर वह हमारे अंदर घटित हो जाए श्री माता जी संपूर्ण जग में विश्व निर्मला धर्म स्थापन करने हेतु कृपा कर आप हमें सहयोग प्रचार प्रसार का एक शुद्ध और सशक्त माध्यम बनाइए परम पूज्य श्री माता जी कृपा कर हमारी सभी प्रार्थनाओं को स्वीकार कर हमें आशीर्वादित कीजिए नमस्कार कर कलेक्टिव बंधन लेते हैं आज का ध्यान केंद्र यहीं पे संपन्न होता है आप सबका हृदय से धन्यवाद जय श्री माता जी